president asked me to come see him, and we had a long conversation one night, just the two of us, over an hour. And, and we talked about uh, the job, the world, security, the future. And within the context of that conversation, we got down into um, what about this job? Uh, I didn't try to sell him on the job that I could do it. In fact, when he asked me about um, uh, why am I qualified or why would I be uniquely qualified, I said, I'm not. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of uh, very qualified Americans who could do this job. Uh, I don't think a lot of them, uh, in the sense of uh, they're out there everywhere. Uh, I think there are some qualifications for this job, um, but I'm not the only one. And I said, Mr. President, I'm not going to sit here and try to convince you that I'm the right person. You know me. You know my record. You know what I believe. I've had the opportunity to work with him pretty closely over the last four years as I served as co-chairman with um, you and Senator Levin's former uh, colleague, Senator Dave Bourne from Oklahoma, on the President's Intelligence Advisory Board. Uh, that's allowed me to stay pretty current with intelligence and make a contribution maybe a little bit there. In the last four years, I've, I've served on Secretary Gates's, Secretary Panetta's policy advisory boards. Um, and so uh, I, I do have some understanding, as I told him, uh, of this. But why, why I think uh, uh, when Leibet and I talked about it, um, I agreed to go forward with this uh, is because of the tremendous opportunities uh, and the important time uh, that we we are are living in, and the opportunities we now have to help make a better world. Uh, 